Ennis, Montana was so small, but it was a tourist trap area, and it had um, this main street that would go all the way down, and the shops there were amazing. Um, just beautiful shops, unique gifts, just Western things, uh, handcrafted things. It was amazing. They had this museum that was really cool, and you'd go and see just kind of like way back then uh, what kind of things they had. There was museums there. It was over the hill in Virginia City. Virginia City had really cool things. They had a candy shop and um, o old machine kind of place. Like if you go, it's like, I don't know, you'd be able to put a dime in the little machine and give you your fortune or something. It was really cool. Um, there was all kinds of places in, in Ennis and in Virginia City. And there's like old time photo places. And, and the weather though was beautiful. I was there in July and it was really, really hot, but beautiful. And uh, Ennis was a, a fishing town. There were so many clear rivers and clear lakes that there was just fishers everywhere. And um, in that area, I loved fish, so I really wanted to get fresh fish, and I loved it, but my companion couldn't stand the smell of it. And so the whole time I was in Ennis, I never got fish, and it was so sad. But it was a really fun experience to be there. Um, you could track out the whole town within a day, so it was interesting. But there's just a small little branch, and it was just a little town, but a lot of things to do in a way. If you could go out and hike, there's a lot of really amazing mountains around and and lakes and, and flatland. It kind of had it all. It had mountains and plains and rivers and lakes, so it's kind of like a little piece of heaven and a little piece of area. It was pretty cool.